and offers the security that comes from being a giant crowd sincerely made fun. I will now ask each of you in turn to take a to our first. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful intent why I, Andrew William Penn, may not be John McDermott, Samantha Jane Arthur. Andy, if you could take the ring you have with the microphone. I am your good Take to you, Samantha Jane Armstrong, to be my wedding wife. You have said all the words required by law, but you have also made solemn and binding commitments before your witnesses, your family. I am therefore honoured to announce that you are now husband and wife. You may be.
We love you, Andy. Andy, we love you. Is it already recording? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, yeah your big head's on there. Your big head's yeah. right on there. Right in there at the beginning. Right, sure, that's going on the CD. Right, he knows what he's doing in profit, isn't he? That's going on the DVD. No, he'll keep that. Yeah. Don't be speechless now, by the way, because the Empire turned up and messed out. So we've got to do that. We've got to do the speech now, unfortunately. These guys are going to have some food in the course. I won't get it. Controversial. Okay, then, guys, welcome. And on behalf of my wife and I, Please. Please. <laughs> I thought I'd put pause on there. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who came today. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, I mean, I've been almost welling up already. I probably well up in part of this speech because I've read it about. 500 times and I haven't managed to get through it yet without finding just a little bit. Okay, so clearly there are more people we would like to thank, uh, but to be honest, they can't be here, mainly because you guys got the vote. <laughs> uh, but seriously, there are some people we would like to have had here who can't be here for, for other reasons, uh, mainly because they're no longer with us. Samantha's dad couldn't be here. Matthew gave Samantha away today, done an absolutely fine job, and I know Miranda would be proud of him, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, Samantha's sister, sister passed away a little while ago, and uh, uh, I know she have been should have been proud of her big sister today. I know she would. Have. All of my life, I've been dreaming about a perfect person to spend the rest of my life with. And it's a dream that often took me to places and people that may not have been right for me at that time. And so my dreaming led me to Samantha Hornby, so that's what she's now called. We met on HampshireDating.com or was it FindTheGinger.com? FindTheGinger.com. I was on HampshireDating.com, she was on FindTheGinger. For some reason there must be like a cluster of websites. That for some reason, it, but it's fate, we found each other. And we met up about a week later, two weeks later? A couple of weeks later, in Pine Vinyl in South, in South Sea. Uh, 17 hours after that point, uh, 17 hours. My first date lasted 17, 17 hours. 17 hours. Here's what I've learned about her over the past few years. Uh, she can deal with stress and carry a heavy burden. What, she's smart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles when she feels like screaming. And sings when she feels like crying. Sings badly when she, when she feels like crying. <laughs> she cries when she's happy and laughs when she's afraid. Her love is unconditional. And she's the most beautiful, selfless person, most beautiful and selfless person I know. Maybe I'm selfish. <laughs> There's just one thing wrong with her, oh. and that she doesn't see her own self-worth. So it's my vow in front of all of our friends and family, every day, for the rest of my life, it'd be my mission to make sure you realise your true beauty and your true worth, and oh. shower you with unconditional love. And when you're scared, I'll fight the demons for you. When you're happy, we'll build the greatest memories and share the deep. And share the deepest love. Deep breath. You got five minutes thirteen. You got plenty of time. Breathe. Get help. And we'll be.
be that married couple at 85 that still holds hands walking circuits around Baffin's Pond. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do this with a heart filled with pride every day for the rest of my life. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and couldn't ask for more. You know you're truly in love with someone <coughs> when, you're, <coughs> when you'd rather be awake than asleep because reality is finally better than that dream. Thank you for making me the happiest man alive and the proudest dad in the world. I still can't believe how fortunate I am to, to have married you today. Uh, so please raise your glasses, please. Here's to love, laughter, and happy ever after. Love, love, love happy ever after. Cheers. 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 So as a bit of a surprise, I've had a song made for us. Ah. Uh, but the, the name of the song, you ready Jack in a sec, is uh, To the Death Star and Back. Of course. Thank you. 